Earlier in the evening, Natasha and Farah clashed. Natasha is reflecting on her first evening in the Big Brother house. It's been a very interesting first evening. Uh, yeah, made a few little observations on people. James came in and said hello to me, but he didn't look me in the eye, he looked at himself in the mirror. <laughs> I was like, OK. Um, but, I mean, he seems a nice guy, but he loves, he does love the mirror. I mean, I know there are mirrors everywhere, but it would be nice to be greeted with someone looking at you, not themselves. Um, Taylor is crazy. I thought she was drunk before. She doesn't even drink alcohol, uh, but she seems a really nice girl. Um, really getting on well with Jenna. We seem to have a lot in common. Um, and yeah, me and Farah are off to a great start. When she came in, I was like, oh, ah, yeah, I watched you on Teen Mum, or 16, whatever it was. And um, f I don't know, somehow she's taken it as a an insult. So I've not even had a peaceful hour in the house and it's already started. To be honest, I'm not going to hold a grudge, um, but it could prove to be a bit sticky with us two. I've got a feeling I'm going to clash. Um, she's just not even given me a chance. It's like she's just one of these people that love the sound of her own voice. It's nomination time. My first nomination is going to be Farah. Well, when we first came into the house, we had a challenge. She got really nasty about it. She started saying things to me, you're just jealous, and it all got a bit petty. But, I mean, she just didn't even give herself the chance to even get to know me. My second nomination is going to be Janice. Um, simply because she can be quite rude when you're having a conversation, you know, she'll butt in. But if you just try and say anything um, when she's talking, you know, her, her actions are very much like... <sharp inhale> and I just find it really rude. Farah just had a screaming match with Bobby in the bedroom. Natasha's talking to Big Brother about Farah. It's hard to ignore someone who is consistently abrasive. She She's looking for a fight. All she ever wants is a fight. She is, a, she is at her best when she is roaring at someone, talking shit out of her ass and making people feel uncomfortable. She loves it. And I just don't understand how long it's going to go on that she can just consistently not antagonise us in the house, but antagonise us by going to that point of family, daughters, wives. She's, she's poison. Like, as far as I'm concerned, she's evil. She just can't keep antagonising people and for us to just go, oh, OK, I'm not going to rise to it. Like, I've gone past that now. I have gone so past being the bigger person. I just want to punch her. <laughs> Natasha is talking to Big Brother. We definitely have to win this task 100%. I mean, I thought I was competitive. They are competitive on a different scale. Like, if we win something or we do well, we can be like, woo! When they win, it's like, yeah, woo, woo, yeah! It, it, it's so OTT. I don't mind making a fool of myself, getting covered in mouldy tofu, fish guts, Stinky cheese. I don't mind that. But when we have to come face to face and say all these things, um, you just know the shit's gonna hit the fan any minute. 
Natasha is talking to Big Brother about the atmosphere in the house. You can definitely feel the tension building in certain people. Austin's getting quite agitated. Um, you know, his, his relationship with Janice has been up and down the whole way through and um, he's not been happy with Chloe. So you can see any little thing that comes from them too towards him, he's just gonna blow.